Well, it just started to rain too. Stay in your lane. Enjoy the ride. Well, hopefully people will remember that, but look at that, it's still wet. Sorry, this is gonna be a slow ass. Fields gap, run. And you can enjoy this ride at a low speed. You don't have to go blazing through here. You know, one of the reasons I'm gonna go slow is because I did not get a good night's sleep. And you might think, oh yeah, you're a wuss, you're a bitch. Yes, but still, <laughs> when you don't get a good night's sleep, you don't concentrate as hard. And at the tail of the dragon, you need to concentrate hard. I mean, you really need to be on your game, especially if you wanna ride it fast or at a de decent spirit pace. And I am not up for it today. I am just very tired. And I'm kind of glad to leave the dragon. And also, it's drizzling a little bit, so yeah, I just don't really want to. And besides, you can ride this thing at a nice pace and still enjoy it. You don't have to go balls out and just, you know, pretend you're like some sort of racer boy. And that's what a lot of guys do here. They pretend that they're like racer boys. And there's no dignity in that, <laughs> you know. I like to ride once in a while in a spirited pace, but I'm not interested in crashing and getting hurt. I have come here with a couple of guys and they've gotten hurt. That one guy at the uh, Cheryl Hollis Skyway, he got a punctured lung out of it. And not only that, but it's financially extremely expensive, especially in the United States. Even with full health care, you're going to be paying a lot of money. And to me, motorcycling is not about the speed it's the experience it's the ability to get out and ride before i got into motorcycles you know i didn't have a way to go out you know i had a, my parents car but i never really fully enjoyed it. i love driving i like to get out but on a motorcycle it feels like you're having an adventure and in a car you don't so that's why Probably my next big trip is going to be in a car, but I'll be taking like a mountain bike or a road bike because I feel that a car doesn't give you that same experience. And a motorcycle does. I mean, nothing gets you closer to the experience of adventure and, and just riding than a motorcycle. Probably the closest thing that you would get to Something like that would be a bicycle. I mean, you really feel the road, you feel the atmosphere, the environment, if you ride a bicycle. And I have seen bicycles at the Dragon as well, but I don't recommend it because mainly for the douchebag motorcycle riders that pretend that this is a racetrack. As you can see, I'm actually having fun, but I'm kind of tired, so I don't really want to push it and this road kind of wears you out you know I'm not into this sort of stuff oh here's the photographer yeah I gave it a little bit of gas for him I have come through here <laughs> you know from a lot of motorcycles so I'll have to pick up some of the uh, photos, and I recommend everybody do the same. Give these guys your business. You want to make sure these guys are compensated. I mean, they're, it's a business that they're doing out of nothing. This business model didn't exist a couple of years ago, and now they even have guys that will pace you on their motorcycles and do video, and I believe I think Killboy rents GoPros and you can stick it on your motorcycle. So that's kind of like a fantastic little idea. 
I'm glad that they're doing this. I love that um, Tennessee and North Carolina is okay with this. Oh, here's the kill boy guy. That's a nice lens. That's a really good place to stop. You get multiple turns and you get to see the ups and downs. I don't think I like to do that job, but I bet you make some money. I don't think Killboy does that anymore. I think he hires like some, some guys to do it, put it in full automatic. Good business model, man. I I think they charge like four dollars for per photo and there's thousands of motorcycles and cars that come through here and you know motorcycles sometimes are a little vain look at this guy look at this guy he's going even slower than me god you know i hate being behind motorcycles more than cars sometimes because they smell so bad yeah, their exhaust is just disgusting. I can't wait until all motorcycles and cars are electric and you can actually smell the environment. I think that's why I like riding by myself. Ah, you went over the double yellow, you fucking rogue. You rogue. I hate you. Don't mind me, I'm just tired.